Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. So welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to use the COUNTIF function to count multiple different items in the same range or in the same column. Okay, we're uh, using the staff record workbook or spreadsheet for today's lesson. Now, in the last lesson, lesson number 52, we learned how to use the count if function and count the number of part-time staff, full-time staff, and the number of staff working within different regions. Now, today's lesson is uh, different because the idea is to count multiple items or different regions and add them up together uh, before anything let's have a look at today's question so the question is asking us to count multiple regions as follows using the count if function so the first multiple uh, regions are Wales and Midlands so we need to count them both at the same time and see how many staff are working in these two regions and then Southwest and Northwest how many staff are again working within these two regions and then Scotland and South um, these two regions and then finally to count all the regions that the staff are working in except Wales Okay, that sounds like an interesting one. We'll see how we can tackle this one. So let's go, go ahead and make a start on counting Wales and Midlands and see how the count if function is used. Okay, so in this cell K12, we will have the answer for Wales and Midlands. So please remember in this region column, we are counting how many staff are working um, in Wales and Midlands. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a start. Now I will be typing in the full function so you understand it better. So we start with equals just like any other calculation and then we type in count if count if you can either keep an eye on the formula bar or you can just follow it here and then we have the open brackets after that we need the range so please remember this is the range because if you get the incorrect range it's not going to work so I'm just going to highlight all the way from F2 right to the bottom to the very last record all the way to F134 so that's quite a lot of number of records and I am using this on purpose just to simulate a real situation so it gives you a better real or better sense of understanding now after you've got the range in we need the comma then after the comma, we need in quotes, we need Wales because that's what we are, we are counting. Then we close the quotes and then we close the bracket just like we did for the previous lesson as though we are counting how many uh, occurrences of Wales comes in this range or how many how many regions staff are working within Wales. So once we have done that, now the addition to count multiple items in the same range is, after that, we put the plus sign in. And then we do the count if again. So we type in count if. Just like before, we open the brackets. We put in the range again. So I'm going to highlight the entire range again. You can either highlight it by clicking and dragging or if you want you can simply type in the range because now you know what the range is from the previous part but i tend to just highlight them just to show you now once you have done that we put in the comma again and then after the comma in quotation we're going to put midlands in because we're also counting midlands so i'm just going to type in midlands Again, please make sure the spelling is spot on, otherwise it will not work. 
and then you close the quotes and finally close the bracket and you press enter before we press enter just have a quick final check make sure i've not i've made no mistakes so equals count if open brackets my range comma in quotation i want to count how many whales um, regions there are and then i do the plus sign so this is how we actually count two different regions or two different items we're counting whales then we've got the plus sign and then we're counting midlands so after the plus sign we do count if again open brackets the full range comma and then in quotation i've put midlands and i've just checked the spelling they all look good to me then close the quotation close the brackets and press enter now before i press enter whales and midlands like we did in the previous lesson we can tell from um, these two answers that 12 plus 12 is 24 so when i press enter we should get 24 as the result for this counter function let's see if we do so there we are so we got 24 so this is how you would count two items now we've got two more examples as per the question um, to complete before i come to this last one which will which is an interesting one so uh, i'm going to do them slightly quicker i'm going to type in the second one and then then i'll use a replication and i'll just change a couple of things here like i did for lesson number 52 just to speed things up but i'm going to type in the second one just to show you um, a working example again for the second time so equals count if open brackets put in the range so i'm just going to highlight it again all the way to the bottom then i need a comma i'm just going to scroll up just to show you then i need a comma and this time we're counting southwest now please remember southwest the full words and northwest is not present so um, type them in as they are so i need s west in quotation s west close the quotation close the brackets um, then the plus sign because we're adding another another item from the same range so we do count if again open bracket oh, i need the range and this time i'm going to type it in i'm just going to do f2 colon f134 because i know what the range is just going off this um, then we need comma and this time i'm adding the northwest to southwest so i need n west you can see here in the range is n west so n west and then i close my quotation i've made a mistake you probably noticed i forgot to put a quotation in there if you don't it will throw you an error so please do be careful and then i finally close my brackets and i press enter so again before i press enter um, we should get 52 plus 23 so 50 60 70 73 um, plus 2 is 75 so we should get 75 in total let's see if we do so there we are 75 so remember 75 i'm just going off these two that we we calculated in the previous lesson just to make things more simple and you understand that it is actually counting the correct number of items that we need okay for the last one i'm actually not going to use replicate um, i'm just going to type the whole thing again just to show you um, another working example for your benefit so equals count if open brackets and this time um, the range again same but i'm just going to type it in because i know what it is so f2 colon f134 comma and this time i need scotland but don't forget the quotes scotland close the quotes close the brackets hit the plus sign i'm going a bit faster you've probably noticed count if again open brackets i need the range so f2 colon f134 comma and i need south so the full word is present south 
So again, in quotation, I need South, close the quotation, close the brackets. And this time for South and Scotland is 25 plus 9, so we should get 34. So let's press enter. And there we are, we've got 34. So three examples I have demonstrated to you. I hope you have understood all three of them. Now, you may be asking the question, what about if I wanted to, let's say, add three up? Well, if there's three different regions in this example, it's exactly the same thing. All you would do is put a plus sign again and do exactly the same thing with another region you need to add on. That's all you have to do. However, for the last question, let's, let me take you back to the question again. It's asking us to count all the regions except Wales. So it's asking us to count all of these, all of these except Wales. Now, you could do them like the example I've just shown you. You're counting one, two, three, four five different regions so you'll have to do this county function five times by having the plus sign in between each one now that's a lot of work in this um, particular example however to save you all that work i am going to be telling you a different way that you could do and this will only work if you are counting all of the regions or all of the items except one particular one if there was if you were minusing two items then this will not work so i repeat please remember what i am about to show you will only work if you are counting all the regions except one now in this example i'm obviously using regions but in your working uh, whatever it is you're working with you could be um, it could be a different item um, something entirely different but the principle is still exactly the same okay so let's make a start so before we do I want to I'm going to highlight all these except Wales. Now here at the bottom, you can see that the answer we should get is 121. This, the status bar simply shows you a couple of the common functions and one of them is the sum function, which means adding up. So as I, highlight, as I have highlighted these cells, it's telling me that these tally up to be 121. So the answer, once I have completed this, it should be giving me 121. Let's see, and let's have a go at this. Okay, so we start with equals. We put in count if again, just like normal. We open the brackets, and we put in the range. So F2 colon F134. I'm typing in 10, so you can see as I have typed it in, Excel has highlighted the correct range, just in case you're wondering. You can see from F2, all the way to the bottom to F134. So you don't have to necessarily highlight every single time if you know what the range is. Now, once you have got your range in, you then put a comma. After the comma, you put the open quotes. And then what we need is the less than and the more than operator. The less than and the more than operator or symbol, which is this one and this one. Now, if I put them both together at the same time, side by side, one after the other, less than and more than. In another words, I am asking Excel um, not to equal to. So I, I let me explain this one more time if i have the less than operator and the more than operator side by side um, it means what i'm about to do afterwards is i'm telling excel not to equal to the following so the following in this example is wales and then i close my quotes so and then close the brackets once i have closed the brackets uh, before I press enter, let's have a quick look uh, to get a little bit more sense of understanding. Equals count if, open brackets, the full range that I am counting from, 
then open quotes, and then less than and more than two whales. So less than and more than two whales simply interprets as not equal to whales, meaning I don't want whales to be counted in this range, but everything else. Now if I press enter, let's see what answer we get. We get one, two, one as we, um, as we uh, did agree by highlighting all them. Let me show you one more time. You can see the sum is one, two, one. So there we are. There is our answer, which also comes to one, two, one. So do practice this county function if you were to count all the regions except one. Uh, or in your example, whatever the item is that you are counting. This is a lovely way and a lot shorter way for you to count everything except one particular item. Otherwise, you can do it this way by having the plus sign between each section and counting each one. Now, this will be quite a lengthy so please be careful if you do decide to do it this way um, remember the quotation um, remember the commas etc um, otherwise you can also use the insert function button and excel does do a lot of it for you but um, i do like this one personally to be honest if i was to count every item in a range except one particular one is very short is very simple and is slightly different to what you would normally do using the count a function to count more than one item okay so i hope you've understood uh, today's lesson i recommend you practice everything a few times if you need to pause the video rewind and play etc please do so before you move on to the next lesson and that's the end of today's lesson so please don't forget to like and share today's lesson and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so and i shall see you over in this over in the next lesson so please do look after yourself and goodbye for now